guys, Lan here on Grady's Mom. I have just a small Walmart haul I thought I would show you. And then after this is going to be a BJ's haul. So went ran to Walmart for a few things I needed. Some of these Nestle Pure Life little mini waters for Grady to take to school. Some body armor in the orange mango flavor. Some black forest juicy burst gummies. I actually did the math and they're the same price at Walmart as Aldi. Aldi, I think it's like a 36 pack for like $5.79 and Walmart is 40 pouches for $5.98. So they're very comparable in price. Um, I got some delectables, cat food for the cat, some coconut edition, Red Bull. I actually had a Red Bull the other day. I hadn't, I hadn't had one in years. It was like a summer edition one that one of my coworkers gave me. And I really liked it, so I thought I would just try a different flavor. This is coconut berry, and I thought they would just be good to keep at work for like an extra little burst of energy when I don't want to have another coffee. So I grabbed those. I got Grady's Less Sugar Chocolate Chip Granola Bars, some tricolor peppers. Um, Aldi was just <clears throat> way too packed today. So I went to Walmart, which was actually less packed than Aldi, which is odd. So I got an orange, yellow, and red pepper, a cucumber. Halloween candy was 50% off, so these were like a dollar or something for the M&M fun size. And I'm going to use them for um, like a little treat with Grady's birthday cupcakes. I might even use them on the cupcakes, but regardless, they were like a dollar or something. Mainly I went to Walmart for the cat food and these items here. So... I use this Avino eczema therapy. It's like a balm um, on my son for the, cool, the colder months. We also use the Kopari coconut oil balm as well. Um, but this is like something we use every day. I kind of spot treat his eczema and then the areas where he's really dry. This seems to work really well. Um, it's not always easy to find and it is pricey for a tub. This is an 11 ounce tub or jar. It's like pushing $20. It's definitely um, expensive, but it works really well. And then my son needed some vitamins. So these are the vitamins he takes. This is the upgraded formula. Smarty Pants non-GMO multi and omega-3 with immunity boost vitamins and the Smarty Pants kids probiotic complete vitamins so he takes those and also I decided to try these as well these actually don't last very long these last um, there's 90 in here but the dose is four uh, four vitamins four gummies per day so if you do the math those don't last long and these last not very long either because these are two a day but I'm going to try him on these when these run out. It is the Zarbies Naturals Children's Complete Multivitamin and Immune with Total B Complex Gummies. So we're going to try those just to see because he's pretty finicky um, about vitamins. But he does seem to respond well to like Zarbies products. So that's pretty much what I went in for mainly and then just picked up everything else um, as well. So I wanted to share that with you and I'm going to have a BJ's haul next. I totally forgot to show you the main reason, besides the vitamins and the Aveeno, why I went to Walmart. So, I have been eyeing this chair for months, but they only had it in black. And I actually asked someone there a couple months ago if they'd be getting more colors. Because, not that I have anything against black, but I wanted either gray or navy. And the guy told me... Um, Towards Christmas time, they'd be getting mo like more colors. So today they had white, blue, red, and I think a girly color. But anyways, I have been looking for like a beanbag-ish chair like this for my son for our basement because in just a couple weeks, our basement will be carpeted and we're moving tons of stuff down there. And one of the things I wanted to get him was this chair, but I just didn't want it in the black. So the brand is Big Joe, and it's like a bean baggy really comfy chair and it's huge like it doesn't it's hard to tell on camera but this is huge my son is about to be eight but he is literally like the size of a 10 year old like literally people think he's like 10 because he's so tall and he fits in here perfectly definitely room to grow so if this is something maybe you want to get for like a younger child they could easily grow into it 
it is definitely a good size like I'm an obviously an adult and I can sit in it just fine so just to give you like a size reference it's a large chair anyways it was like $35 I believe and I'm so glad I found it in navy because that's the color that I really wanted for the playroom because I ordered my son a navy couch for down there so this will kind of coordinate with that but anyways I wanted to show that because if any of you are in the market like for the holidays for a cozy kind of loungy chill chair for your kids Walmart I found these like in the furniture section it is you guys are seeing this on Monday and normally I do grocery haul type of videos on Fridays but this week is gonna be a little bit different I have a lot going on this week it's one of the busiest weeks literally I've had this entire year so I am filming this on a Saturday, you're seeing it Monday, and then this week on Friday, there will not be a grocery haul. There will either be no video or some other type of video that is not a grocery haul. I'm hoping to get a What's For Dinner video up on Friday, but we will see. So I just wanted to give you the heads up for that. Just got home from BJ's Wholesale. The before coupon cost of this haul was $201, but with the coupons, I had about $20, so I spent $182 after the coupons with tax and everything. I'm going to start over here and work my way over to the tissues. So, a lot of stock up things because we can get pretty much, we're fair game for snow at any point pretty much in the next couple weeks starting in the middle of November through April we get snow here in upstate New York so I like to start to stock up on things in the fall normally I like to do this in like October but I've just been so busy I haven't had time so I had to get a lot of like drinks and different things so I got this Pringles variety pack they're the individual cup so there is um, original cheddar cheese and sour cream and onion the cup actual cup part is recyclable which is nice because we just throw them into the recycle bin I am trying this water for the first time ever I keep hearing about it my boss always raves about it everybody I know who drinks this water is obsessed with it and tells me I need to try it so I was waiting for a coupon because this water is not cheap they are large bottles there are one and a half liter bottles um, and normally they're like two dollars a bottle when you see them at like in sold individually Anyways, BJ had BJ's has the cases for $19.99 and then they had a four dollar off coupon So I got it for $15.99. So I'm hoping it's they're good. I mean, I keep hearing they are so I'll let you guys know So I got a case of the Essentia water. I got some Gatorade zero in the limited edition I guess it's just the flavors that make it that but it's eight berry 10 glacier freeze and 10 glacier cherry so these will be good to pack my husband for lunch and I like the Gatorade zeros as well so I got a 28 pack of those we are almost out of butter and I really like the BJ's brand the Wellsy Farms brand but um, this butter freezes butter freezes really well so I'll just take one um, box out and freeze the other three so I got those they have a, um, a deli there, like a deli where there's an actual person, deli counter. So I got a pound of Dietz and Watson buffalo chicken breast. They had a $2 off coupon on this, so that was nice to get a couple dollars off. And I also got some Swiss cheese for my husband's lunches. I get this Dietz and Watson buffalo chicken a lot. It's very, very good. Also, this always comes out, at least for the past few years, and around the holidays. It is the Canada Dry Limited Edition Variety Pack. So I got this for my husband for lunches and just around the house if he wants one. So there is 12 blackberry ginger ale, which is his favorite, 12 original ginger ale, and 12 cranberry ginger ale. And these are just good because a lot of people, like my father-in-law, for example, likes regular ginger ale. So it's just good to have the variety. Um, and I tend to only find this size and this you know addition around like November December January so if you're into this pick it up if you have a BJ's membership I also got the Jimmy Dean regular pork sausage I've been using this stuff for years I'm actually gonna cut it in half so I can get two whole meals out of it this is a two pound tube usually I buy the individual one pounders at like Walmart so I'll get two meals out of that and it was $5.99 which is a great deal I also got this huge thing of Flavor Bomb Cherry Tomatoes on the Vine. 
Um, I, apparently they're really sweet, and I think I've gotten these before, but I don't know for sure. But anyways, um, these will be great for salads. We also like to snack on tomatoes just as is. So, and this was a great deal as well. I also got this antipasta salad with provolone. It has olives, mushrooms, red peppers, um, the provolone obviously. And I'm actually going to bulk it up by adding black olives and a couple other things um, like my own ingredients. I might even add some of these. I'm going to use this for my son's birthday to put it out in a big, like a big dish and I'll bulk it up with my own ingredients. I got the Barilla Marinara 4-pack. I do make my own marinara. I have a whole video on it, which is in my cooking playlist. But the times I just can't and I need something like this for recipes, I really need to have some kind of marinara sauce on hand. So these will be perfect to use in quick recipes. A lot of you guys suggested the Noosa yogurt. You also, a lot of you also um, suggested the Wee yogurt because I'm not a huge yogurt fan, but I do like it once in a while. Um, I don't know if my son will eat this, but anyways, Nusa and Wee seem to be the yogurts you guys suggested uh, for a non-Greek yogurt for me. Um, I almost got the Wee, but the expiration date was really close. It was only like a week away, and this one had a longer expiration date. It is four blueberry, four lemon, and four strawberry rhubarb, and this is a whole milk based yogurt so hopefully they're good I'll let you guys know and you'll obviously see if I like them if I buy them again I also got these lint rollers I think I buy one of these five packs like twice a year we have a cat and I also hang dry our laundry so I like to use these to get any like cat hair off or any like lint from um, hang drying our clothes I just really like to have these to keep our clothes like fresh and cat hair free and lint free they were $12.99 but there was a $4 clipless coupon so $4 off was really nice to get those I grabbed some olives we go through a lot of olives and I actually needed some again to bulk up this and we do go through a lot of these anyways we like to snack on them I throw them in salads my husband just likes my husband can just eat a whole can of these he loves black olives this had a two dollar off coupon in the little coupon book I've been using these for years they are the Berkeley Jensen cotton rounds there are 600 so this will last a long time I feel like I only buy one of these maybe a year and I really like this brand. They're just really good. They don't like fall apart when you, you know, put toner or something on them. I've been using those for years. I love them. I got goldfish for Grady just to stock up like back stock. We have goldfish now, but this is his number one most eaten favorite snack. So I like to always have a backup large quantity. I also got these Nature Valley Crispy Creamy Wafer Bars. There are 20. They were $9.99 with a clipless coupon. It was like a $2 clipless coupon in the peanut butter and chocolate flavor. I am not a huge like bar, granola bar or bar person, but these are actually really good and I really like them. They're light. Um, they taste good and Nature Valley always makes really good bars. So I grabbed those and I also got this big thing of Kleenex. Hopefully this will last a while. Um, I do have a couple boxes of tissues. I'm down to the last two boxes, but I like the Kleenex brand versus like Scotty's or Puffs, and they had a $3 off coupon on these, and tissues are not cheap. So this is everything I picked up. Unfortunately, I don't have a meal plan to share for next week. I'm, it's just too hectic right now, and my brain is fried from all the things I have going on. So I hope you enjoyed that small little random Walmart haul and this haul. Reminder, no grocery haul Friday, but there will hopefully be another type of video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. <music>